point of view. view. You heard about this small green country in the heart of Europe. And now you just want to pack up your bags and go visit? Well, hold your horses. Before you pack up your bags, here are essential things you need to know about Slovenians before visiting. Some of them might shock you. Most likely not, but you never know. Number one thing you should know about Slovenes before visiting Slovenia is definitely gonna bring some relief to your life. Many people are concerned, how will I communicate in Slovenia? It is a country with two million people and they, and they have, have their, their own, own language. language. I know some of you have tried to learn Slovenian and then you got to Skloni and life became dark, cold and meaningless. It did for the majority of us when we were in high school as well. Trust me. But you are in luck, you don't have to deal with that whatsoever because Slovenia implements teaching another language, which is usually English, in the first grade of school already. So most people actually grow up learning two languages at the same time. Plus, we consume a lot of English literature and media and content, and that's how we learn English to begin with, that's how I learned it, that's how I know most people learned it. We watch a lot of things with subtitles, which means we can simultaneously, while being entertained, learn another language. So don't worry, if you are the only foreign person in the group full of Slovenians, everyone will automatically speak in English to make you feel included. Unless, Unless they're, they're talking, talking behind, behind your, back. your back. Then they will talk in Slovenian and you will not know what's happening. <laughs> New paranoia unlocked. <laughs> Thing you should know about Slovenes before visiting Slovenia number two. When you visit somebody's household, at least one person will shove a plate full of food in your face. Nine out of ten times, that food will be home-baked goods, and if not, it will be premium quality food. That's also when other household members get excited because Lidl Piškoti are replaced by Maner Napolitanke and Frondi. No more off-brand Vicky Crema. Oh no, no. The real thing comes to play. But like I mentioned, 9 out of 10 times, there will be home-baked goods. That could be Gibanica, Strudel, Palacinke, you name it. Somebody will get up extra early to start baking for that day. Or if you announce yourself days in advance, you might even be greeted with a full meal and it will be served in a manner of, ah, ah that only, that took, only me took me like, like five, five minutes, minutes to, make. to make. Don't, don't be, be silly. silly. Eat, eat everything. everything. And you are allowed. And if you don't, you will get leftovers in a Tupperware to take home. You will leave with more food than you came. Trust me. On top of that, you will also be offered liquor, something like Medica, Travarica, Boronicke, and it will be served next to your morning coffee. Hello, welcome to our household. Here's some alcohol. Third thing you will experience while hanging out with Slovenians is the, the mighty, mighty coffee. coffee. We love our jezvas. We love making Turkish coffee. Most households will not have those fancy Nespresso pods or those uh, fancy espresso machines or, and don't even bother looking for Starbucks because you will find none. We don't have Starbucks. We have local coffee shops. Please support local. So when you do visit a household, get ready for the most caffeinated experience of your life. If your heart is not trying to escape your body and your palms aren't sweaty after drinking a cup of coffee, you are doing it wrong. At least according to my grandma. So if you are used to watered down 7-Eleven drip black coffee, <laughs> ask for a half and half. And by half and half, I don't mean half milk, half cream, whatever. We will not have that. We don't even know what that is, to be honest. Half and half in my vocabulary means half a cup of coffee, half a cup of milk. And if you happen to be a lover of black drip coffee and you say, Oh, I'll take it black. Coffee that comes directly from Jezva, well then I salute you for your bravery and I will see you in a bathroom stall. Fourth thing you should know about Slovenians before visiting Slovenia. We have a slap your knee kind of humor while also being simultaneously very melancholic and introverted as a nation. We have this yarning, yarning about, about us, us. This, this 
brooding exterior, this dark side about us that just confuses people a lot. And unless you are an influencer trying to sell something to somebody or you just had a full jesva of coffee, we will never ask you, hey, how are you? And not mean it. We will always mean it. But don't worry, if our tough exterior and our tone of voice intimidates you, <laughs> we loosen up after a few drinks. Yeah, that's when everybody hugs everybody and we all start singing songs that you will probably never understand. But we could also start singing English songs. We will put arms around each other and sway in motion while also simultaneously holding beer and chugging it at the same time while screaming and laughing and crying and it will be amazing. But if we're sober, this is usually the way we look like. This is the look I have on my face 99% of the time and this is the tone of voice that I speak with 99% of the time. And in America, a lot of people think that I am either depressed or annoyed or... And it's like, no, I'm not the... Well, at least I'm not annoyed. Hmm. Fifth thing you should know about Slovenians before visiting Slovenia. We love to talk about our landscape for a good reason. We have a gorgeous landscape. That's just that. Everyone falls in love with our landscape when they visit. They're like, oh, it's a small country. I heard it's cute. And then they visit and they're like, how do I move here? Of course, the price of glorious, beautiful landscape comes with a foggy, gloomy, dark weather. But you learn to love those if you are a tortured artist. You do, yeah. If you come to Slovenia and you're like, oh, this is my first time here, instantly you will hear things such as, have you been to Bachin? Oh, you should go to Piran. Skip Koper, go to Piran. You should also go to Bovitz. And don't forget to check out Kobarid. And have you done any of the hikes? You simply must go to Velika Planina. And if you go on Triglo, please don't wear flip-flops. Sixth thing you should know about Slovenes before visiting Slovenia. We are very, very proud of our athletes. Slovenia ranks second in the world of number of Olympic medals per capita. You have most likely heard of Andrzej Kopitar, Tadej Pogacar, Janja Garembre, Luka Doncic, Primoz Roglic, Tina Maze, Ilka Stuhets, etc., etc. It is because Slovenians are fond of outdoor activities and our landscape offers everything from hiking to running to biking to skiing to snowboarding really all sports are available in Slovenia and a lot of people participate in at least one kind of sport on a regular basis so for some people the average Sunday will include a hike to Šmarnagora or Šmarietnagora or Jošt or Ljubljanski Grad if you do hang out with Slovenians for a while, you will absolutely get invited to a sports activity at some point. It might be kayaking, it might be paddle boarding, it might be hiking, it might be skiing, swimming, you name it. Somebody will invite you at some point, I promise you. Seventh thing you should know about Slovenians before visiting Slovenia. Once a year, we sit in a cold river and drink beer while punk rock music blasts from speakers. This is a four-day festival and you will be able to experience a crazy lineup, dipping your feet in a crystal clear cold water, and a bunch of alternative tattooed bearded people hanging out on a llama or a pink unicorn or a rainbow pineapple floaty and it will be glorious. These are the cool kids that your mother warned you about. So enter at your own risk and don't bring any drama. Eighth thing you should know about Slovenians before visiting Slovenia is that we love potatoes. <laughs> we love potatoes. We love potatoes so much that we have a thing called Society for the Recognition of Roasted Potatoes as an Independent Dish. And it is a club dedicated to recognition and spreading awareness of roasted potatoes as a, as a dish on its own, not, not just, just a, a side. side. Roasted potatoes shouldn't be just a side piece. They should be the main character. This club has its own hymn. 
It has its own international festival that is all about roasted potatoes. There's an official recipe with the official rules of how official roasted potatoes supposed to look like and taste like. It's intense. Uh, potatoes are no joke to us, you know? So be respectful of potatoes when somebody offers them to you. Say yes. So there you go. These are the eight things you must know about Slovenians before visiting Slovenia. And if you do plan on learning any Slovenian and you get intimidated about speaking in Slovenian in front of Slovenians, please, for the love of God, do not be shy. When I hear a foreigner trying to learn Slovenian just so they can like communicate with us or order a cup of coffee. I think that's the most adorable thing I've ever seen because the cute accents that come with foreigners learning Slovenian are just so freaking precious. And I love, 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 love when that happens. Even if you butcher it, even if you order a crusty, a crusty purple, purple leg, leg of, of banana, banana accidentally instead of coffee, <laughs> don't worry, it's not that complicated. You know what I'm saying. It is still it's the thought that counts and we appreciate it like i said we are a small country of two million people and we have our own language that is insanely hard to learn even for slovenians god damn it so if people make an effort to learn a few sentences in our language kudos to you and best of luck to everybody i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have visited slovenia or not what was your favorite thing about it did this video go along with what your idea of slovenians are i love to read comments in my free time so thank you for all the love all my social media is down below and you can join my patreon for behind the scenes content Thank you, everybody. Stay awesome, stay positive. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. What? Less coffee, Barbara.